is a second video for Killer Joe on the same topic of uh, using uh, scales to help us find some vocabulary uh, and to explore, uh, improvisationally speaking. Um, let's uh, leave the blues scale for a moment and explore a seven-tone scale uh, mode, in this case, a mixolydian mode, which is nothing more than a major scale with a lowered seventh. And we lower that seventh to accommodate the dominant chord sound. So, for example, the very first chord that you uh, are soloing over is a concert B flat seven chord. Root, third, fifth, and flat seven. And so the scale, the major scale, which you all know, if you simply take the seventh degree and lower it by a half step, it will best fit this dominant chord. Here's the lowered seventh. And that, in and of itself, is a fantastic amount of notes to use, a little uh, corral of notes to use over that chord. So remember with the mixo mode, usually what happens, and indeed in this case is, if you have a concert B-flat dominant chord, go ahead and use B-flat mixolydian. But as soon as that chord changes to A-flat dominant concert again, or the second chord change of this two-bar progression, make sure that that mode also transposes, also uh, uh, goes to concert A flat uh, mixolydian. It's not like the blues scale. The blues scale is that one size fits all. You can have the same scale for all of these different chords. In this case, if the chord changes, the scale changes as well. So let's review those two scales. They're actually not hard. Concert B flat mixolydian. Here's that flat seven. And the same exact thing down a whole step, or the concert A flat mixolydian scale. Here's that flat seven again, right here. And just like with the blues scale, even before you jam with a bed track or anything like that, or with other people, get familiar with those scales. There's a lot you can do with those seven tones. Remember to try to create some great phrasing, some great phrasing. Um, four beats each, four beats each. So, as an exercise, I'll share with you how I might navigate it. Here's without using any phrases. One, two, a three, four. So let me explain that one more time. I was just playing scales all next to each other, but I was changing the scales, and sometimes I was changing them right in the middle of the scale. I wasn't starting on the tonic. I was in concert B-flat, then I was in concert A-flat, then I was in concert B-flat, then I was in concert A-flat. Four beats each. Again, I'll demonstrate that as a, as a way of just calisthenically exercising those two chord scales and oscillating back and forth between the two of them. One, a two, a B-flat concert. Now I'm changing. Change. Use the entire range of your instrument. I'm a pianist, so I like to use the entire uh, piano. If you're a saxophonist, use the whole range of the given uh, instrument that you have. So I'm going to pause it here. Uh, we're just a little over four minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll produce a third video here that deals with the use of the mixolydian mode in a little bit more of an artistic way. Um, but uh, suffice it to say, get to know that mode inside and out, and your language will be all the more informed and hopefully more inspired. Hope that helps.